So such locked in stabilization can be achieved using DaVinci Resolve with just two steps. So I'll be showing you how it's done on DaVinci Resolve. So if you guys are new here, for those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. It's really easy. It's just two simple steps. So this is the video that we want to apply this effect. So first thing, right click new fusion clip. And don't worry, once you hear fusion, it's just two simple step. So now come to fusion, hit shift plus space bar and type in tracker. And just press add. Once you have the tracker, uh, just change the adaptive mode from none to best match. Now let me track a point. I prefer tracking the eyes in this shot. Now I'll put the small box near the eyes and the big box just around it and I'm going to press track forward in time. So let it do the tracking. So it has done the forward track. Now let me come to this frame and do track reverse in time. So to the tracking has been completed. Now come to operation, change the operation to match move and change the merge to background only. So now the tracked portion will be at the center no matter what. Even if your head is moving, uh, the frame still remains in the center. But as you can see that uh, the framing is going out of place in some areas. So what you have to do is just hit shift plus spacebar and type in transform. So now you can just zoom in. and maybe change the position a little bit. Now go through the frame if anywhere uh, you need adjusting. So just let me zoom in a bit more. And just move it a little more down. Now you can see that the framing has been fixed, but just go through it. If you find anywhere that the framing is not proper, just adjust it accordingly. So now the head will be tracked as per the motion and once finished, you will have something that looks like this. Now I think Bella Posh was the first person to try this and upload it on TikTok, which became one of the most viral videos. So if any of you are dancers, why don't you try this effect on your dance and upload it on Instagram and TikTok? to maybe go viral. Let me know if you guys need any other tutorials on DaVinci Resolve in the comments. So I'll be happy to make one for you guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.